All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little Golden State Warrior Sacramento Kings play in preview. Now, the Warriors and Kings go tonight. And of course, we're brought to you by Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Check them out in Emeryville and Corte Madera. They're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. till 8 p.m. or until they run out. And they do get some brisket, get some brisket chili. Go say hi to Damon and Mary and tell them that Larry Kruger sent you. We're also brought to you by Sharp Corner Sports Cards and Collectibles. Check them out in Monterey. Uh, call Anthony Catania at 831-521-5264. All right, Kings Warriors go tonight in a one-game play-in tournament um, for the eighth seed. Basically, the winner moves on, the loser goes home. The Warriors season could come to an end tonight, or the Kings season could come to an end tonight. And let's talk about um, how this is going to go. Now, my heart says Golden State, but my head says the Kings are going to win this game. Now. I don't want to see uh, Sacramento win this game. I want to see the Warriors move on. I think it would be great for the Warriors. I think the Warriors are probably the better team. They're the hotter team. Um, and it was just weeks ago, the Kings were sitting comfortably in the sixth seed. Then they lose Kevin Herter to a season-ending shoulder surgery. And then they lose Malik Monk, their sixth man of the year, uh, to a knee injury. And, um, you know, now they have to face Golden State just to stay in the postseason. And Sacramento is not as deep, you know, where the Warriors are incredibly deep. But this is not a series. This is one game. And if you look at it, um, you know, the Kings have the guys in their prime. DeMontis Sabonis is in his prime. De'Aaron Fox in his prime. Uh, Harrison Barnes still very much in his prime. Keegan Murray in his prime. Davion Mitchell in his prime. Golden State has one player in their prime. And that's and that's Andrew Wiggins, and he can't be depended on. I think De'Aaron Fox is going to beat Steph Curry tonight. Curry, of course, went for 50 in Game 7 of that playoff series last year. He averaged 30 against the Kings this season. But you know what I would say to anybody is get current. And currently, Curry doesn't look good. And currently, he just rolled his ankle against the Pelicans and, and you know, really played po- horribly down the stretch in that game. The Warriors and Kings' last three games have all been decided by one point, and it could be decided by one point again. I like the I like the Kings to win this game. They're at home. Fox is in his prime. Sabonis is in his prime. Curry won't be able to stay in front of Fox, and I don't think the Warriors can defend Sabonis. Last year, they used Looney. Looney's not even in the, in the rotation, and that really brings me to the second point. Steve Kerr struggled with his rotations all year. Does he play the kids who have no experience but tons of talent, or does he play the veterans who have tons of experience but are fading? And I think in this game, it's going to be another situation where, you know, how much does he, he probably should play Trace Jackson Davis tons, but will he? I don't know if he will. Um, There's not going to be any GP2 who's the Warriors, you know, unsung hero and best defensive player outside of green. Um, I think that's a huge, huge, you know, kick to the gut for Golden State. Also, the Warriors have been great on the road and the Kings have struggled at home, but this is the playoffs. And in the playoffs, I I think I'd much rather be the home team. Um, you know, the the emotion of of, you know, if you win on the road in the regular season, that means you focused well. But in the playoffs, you want your home crowd. You want that. And I just, I watched Warriors Pelicans the other night and Golden State allowed 46 points in the second quarter and they just stopped playing. And then Kirk, uh, Curry came in in the fourth quarter and rolled his ankle and played horribly and turned the ball over three or four times and just looked bad. So um, Clay Thompson has had an incredible, you know, finish to the year. But do you trust him in this situation where he's going to try to shoulder the load? I think Clay Thompson has shown this year he will shoot you in, he will shoot you out. And I I think that in this game, he's going to shoot them out. Um, I don't know what the Warriors can expect to get out of Trace Jackson Davis or Pajemski or Kaminga. Um, Steph, as I said, doesn't look like Steph. Mike Brown, this is the biggest coaching moment in his career. I mean, you know, he he's got to show that he can make the right decisions. Um, and then I just think overall Sacramento is a team that's got nothing to lose. You know, they, they ducked out in the playoffs last year. The Warriors are thinking well beyond the tonight. The Warriors are thinking, get this win. 
and then, you know, uh, get the next win and get into the playoffs and, and take down uh, their first round opponent. If it's not Denver, I don't think they can take down Denver if they, if they get Denver, but maybe the Warriors feel like they can take down OKC or Minnesota. I don't think so, but uh, I think that's clearly what Kerr is selling to them. I just think that when you look at these two teams, yeah, you, you, you know, if you look at them recently, Sacramento looks bad. They just got beat by Portland. Um, and they struggle at home and they're, they're playing better on the road. The Warriors have, have won what nine of 11 to finish the year. They're winning on the road. They've got all the experience. They've got Kerr. They've, this is one game. And I just think that ultimately, you know, Golden State is going to have a letdown at some point in this game. And I think Sacramento is going to get fueled by their crowd. Um, Sabonis is an all star big man in his prime. You know, Fox, I think, I don't think Curry can stay in front of Fox. The The Kings are going to need points from Barnes, from Davion Mitchell, from Keegan Murray. They're going to need somebody to pick up the slack for Herder and uh, for Malik Monk not being there. But I just think Sacramento is is the, the team that's still ascending, where I think the Warriors are in clear decline. And I think this off season is going to be a, a you know an awful tough off season for for Joe Lakeup and Mike Dunleavy trying to figure out what do you do you know I mean, you, you know do you, do you trade a bunch of assets for Paul George and try to put him next to Curry okay is that going to make you a title contender probably not um, are you gonna are you gonna resist all the teams that say hey we want Kuminga we want Trace Jackson Davis we want Pajemski. Those are the guys the Warriors have, you know, potentially to offer. Uh, there's not a lot of assets there. Golden State doesn't have a first round pick. Um, they don't have a lot of talented young players on cheap deals. You know, what do you do with Clay Thompson? What do you do with Chris Paul? What do you do with Steph Curry? Are you going to the finish line with Curry and Green and and Thompson? Uh, Joe, Joe Lacob has stated he is, but he's also stated he's going to win. And I don't think he can do both. I don't think you can go to the finish line with Steph and Clay and Dre and win. Um, I just don't think it's possible. And so I think there's a little bit of a disconnect in warrior land. I think there's a little nervousness about, about what the future holds. Um, I think everybody can see the end is coming near and Sacramento has got a lot on the line. I mean, Mike Brown, this is a huge game for Mike Brown. It's a huge game for Fox. It's a huge game for Sabonis. My heart says Golden State gets it done and they dig deep and they find a way to get by Sacramento. My head says no. The Warriors are too young. They're too old. Wiggins is the only guy on the team in his real prime. Uh, while Sacramento's core, while limited and they're struggling, but they're still in their prime. And I and and it's and it's April. So if you had asked me this question a month ago, I would have said, Warriors, oh my God, bring on Sacramento. But now after watching the way the Warriors looked against uh, against the Pelicans, watching the way Steph Curry looked, w looking at the way his ankle rolled, uh, knowing they're going to be without Peyton, um, I'll take Sacramento. I'll take Sacramento tonight to win and move on, and I think tonight is the end of the season for the Golden State Warriors. So that's my perspective. I'm not rooting for it. I'll be rooting for the Warriors to win the game but I'll pick Sacramento to get it done at home. Thanks to all of you guys for supporting the Krug Show on YouTube, and thanks to uh, Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of the Krug Show, and I uh, hope you enjoyed our video.